Ohio football 123 to 20 over the Akron Zips at Peden Stadium on Saturday. We're getting ready for the four and three and two and one Western Michigan Broncos. And on Monday at Donato's in Athens, we recap that win. We previewed the game to come on our Ohio IMG Sports Network with the Frank Solich Show. I'm Russ Eisenstein. We do it every week. It's a tradition. We slice it up like we slice up pizza. The great comments from Coach Solich as we did look back on that Zips win and preview the Broncos. So here it is, our week eight edition of the Solid Show Slice. And your ball club did win on Saturday, 23 to 20 over the Akron Zips. And um, I mentioned this on the broadcast because the vibes either publicly said or just privately held over the last couple of weeks, they, they weren't good just based on during the games and, and what happened, Central Michigan and then the loss to Bowling Green. But this win, that game, that feeling at the end just seemed to reinvigorate everyone, didn't it? Yeah, it was a great, uh, great win. You know, you, you look at Akron and um, they were four and two coming in. They'd beaten some very good teams. Um, they're on top of um, our conference in terms of uh, scoring defense. Uh, um, and so they're uh, a team filled with very good personnel. And, um, you know, obviously we're playing very, very well and, you know, are tired of getting beat by us. And, and so they, they came with a, a mission and, um, you know, to our kids' credit, we accepted that challenge and uh, played well enough to win the game. Uh, we had identified certain statistics that we needed to win. You know, in, in the previous game against Bowling Green, we won a lot of what was, is somewhat, uh, can be somewhat meaningless statistics. You know, number of first downs, uh, number of plays per per game versus your, your opponent. And, and um, we won a great share of those. But the things that are important in my mind are Number one, field position, and over, overall that balanced out. Um, you know, we we were uh, uh, our starting field position was one yard favorable to theirs. Um, you know, we won the turnover ratio, which is something that we haven't done a lot of this year, which played in huge in, in that uh, that victory. We won the sack battle, three sacks to zero total loss value and uh, tackles for loss uh, total. We won uh, won that. Um, and we won the explosive play battle by uh, by one play, but it was very meaningful, and um, and so those are crucial statistics, and um, and we we won all of those, and and so that was uh, you know that helped us be in position to win the ball game at the end. We'll preview Western Michigan and Northern Illinois coming up, but let's go back to this past weekend. And I know, first off, it was special for you. Going back to Muncie, and we talked on this program last week about your roots in volleyball. So before the match and everything else, how special was it for you? And what were those feelings like being at Worthen Arena on Friday night? It was great to be back there. It was We walk in for, for practice that day, and I look up, and they have big banners. and. And I'm seeing these kids that went on to play at Ball State and were all Americans that I had coached when they were 15 and 16 years old playing club. And it was just, it was, I don't know, it was weird, for yeah. lack of a better word. But it, it was great to be there in a great environment. Got to see people that I coached when I started my coaching career in 97 in Indiana Wesleyan were there uh, that had played for me that are now starts to make you feel a little old because they're now in their mid-30s and, and have kids <laughs> and all that. Uh, but it was great to see them, great to just be back in that environment. Uh, but more importantly, it was just a great match for our team uh, against a, a good team, a well-coached team. Thoughts on the win over Toledo? I'm glad we won. <laughs> That's okay. my thought. Okay. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't great volleyball, I'm okay. not going to lie. There were moments that they were not very pretty. Uh, they were a little sloppy. But uh, regardless, glad to get the win. I think what's What's great about this coming weekend is there are, there are two really good opponents. And there have been a number of weekends that we've played one opponent that was ranked very, very high and one opponent that maybe was struggling a little bit and it maybe required a different type of focus. There, there'll be no shortage of external stimuli, I guess you could say, in terms of our, our opponents being very good, uh, motivating us to be very good. There's no, we have to do anything as coaches to kind of try to push our kids. They're going to be ready. They're going to be excited to play. And it's a matter of this week making sure we help prepare them for, for two really good teams. Yeah, Western Michigan is up first on Friday night, and then on Saturday it's Northern Illinois. And these are two, well, the two top teams in the MAC West. And, yeah, it's divisional, but you also have the chance of seeing them in tournament play as well. And so if you take a look at the front runners in this league for the top spot and for the ultimate crown in tournament time it's Ohio it's Northern Illinois it's Western Michigan and all three meet each other this weekend 
Yeah, we played last week. Ball State was second on their side. They were five and one. Now they're six and two. And Western Michigan's also six and two. Uh, so I would say if you were, you know, taking the top four or five teams, I think you'd say the three you just mentioned, along with Miami and and Ball State, and they're all very good teams. Uh, but this weekend, I just can't can't say enough how big this weekend is. What a great opportunity it is. We talk about that. Uh, we were on the bus coming back with the team. Just like, this is this is opportunity week. I mean, this is. Incredible. You get a chance to play a number two who's very good. NIU, they're 8-0 right now on their side. We're 8-0 on our side. Uh, I think we have, as much as we want to prepare one match at a time, we, and I'm sure NIU, we've, we've taken some little glances across the division and say, oh, we're, we're kind of heading towards each other. Right. And, and so now we're, we're at that point, but we need to right now focus on Western Michigan. That's our next opponent. Uh, they're a good team. And if we take care of that, then we'll get on to Saturday, and hopefully that'll be a good result as well. Flip side to your offense and, and moving the football. Uh, positive signs, uh, uh, certainly against Akron. Uh, more touchdowns certainly necessary. But what do you see from the Bronco defense, and how do you move the football against them? Well, um, you know, you're not going to uh, do it by uh, being a one-dimensional team. So we'll have to try to, to do s some things uh, through the air as well as um, on, on the ground. You know, you never want to get just totally shut down. Um, you know, I think in this last ball game, uh, they were very good uh, defensive front and linebacker core, Akron was. But as the game went on, you know, we, we, we started to, to get uh, some bigger runs in the later in the third and fourth quarter, which really made a, a difference in, in, in terms of um, finishing that, that game off. So it'll be important for us to, to eventually uh, find some kind of a, a running game that's, that's going to be productive. You know, J.D. did a great job of scrambling um, throughout the course of the game, and we'll, we'll need to uh, certainly uh, get those type of plays from our, our quarterback position also. And the bottom line to all of this is you're still in the Mac East race. Mm -hmm. You're still on the chase for what would be the sixth straight bowl game. Uh, there are four weeks to go. You're in position. It's going to be difficult, but all those things are generally difficult. But the good news is you're still in it, and that has to help going yeah. on the road. Yeah, that, 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 that is great. And, um, you know, like I mentioned before, I, I love the attitude of our team. I love their work ethic, how they prepare and practice to – to, uh, to to win games and and so we'll have a great week of practice. I'm convinced of that. They'll get themselves um, re ready to go, and we just got to make the plays when they're there.